Right, we're going to apply some chip guard to the Triumph Acclaim. Right, well here we are, this is the uh, product which I'm going to use, it's, um, I don't know if you can see this, it's called Gravitex Plus Overpaintable Stone Chip Protector, and it's made by Upole, they do this in a few different colours, black, white or grey, I've gone for the black in this situation, and uh, you basically use it straight out of the bottle, and you can actually buy an application gun with it as well, which I've brought here. I've obviously put my gauges on there, so I've got a pressure gauge there. And obviously this goes into the actual bottle itself, and there's also an adapter which you can buy with a hose on, which you can get into like small places or whatever. But I'll be using it directly out of the bottle. And basically there's two ways to apply it. You can either apply it as it is out of the bottle, and that will give you the orange pill effect which we've already got on the Triumph. Or if you want a slightly smoother finish, you can thin it down by 5% cellulose thinners and use that at between 4 and 5 bar, which is 60 to 70 pounds. I'll be using it to create the orange pill effect, in other words, where you don't thin it down. And that is between uh, 3 and 5 bar, I think I read on here. Yeah, again, which is between about 40 to 70 psi. So I'm going to, um, I'll give it a good shake up, which is what you've obviously got to do. I've just generally masked off and cleaned off all the lower parts of the car where I'm going to be applying this and I've gone over it with a Scotch Bright, uh, Scotch Guard pad, a grey scuffing pad basically and then wipes it all down with a wax and grease remover just to get rid of the dust so let's give this a go, I've never sprayed this before but um, as I say this is, you can get it in aerosol but this is a more professional application, it's a lot thicker and as I say it's, um, it's with its own uh, unique gun so let's, let's have a look and give it a go.
Well, that really goes on well. Right, okay, that really gives a comprehensive cover. Comes out of the gun very fast, you have to keep the gun moving. How much have we got left in here? Down to about there, I suppose. So it's taken about three quarters of the, um, the can, and it really is, it seems like a one coat application. Let's just have a look around it now, just see how well it's uh, covered. It really does come out quick. Well, as you can see, I've gone all the way around the car. Right the way around, look. It really does put on a lovely thick coat and the sort of finish you'll get, don't forget when it's painted over, if I just pull that off there, this is the old uh, masking tape obviously, but you won't actually see any of that black because that will be under the actual um, gold paint as you know, so this I'll just give a light sand down, when I finish the sanding down process that's all I'll do there, but I'm sure you can see that um, it finishes and covers really well, look. And that's going to look absolutely lovely when it's uh, all painted gold. And gives it sort of a factory look, I suppose. So let's pull that bit off there, look. Let's have a look. It really is a one coat application, but as I say, you have to keep the gun moving. And uh, that's the gun that actually comes, or that you buy specially to put this application on. There we go, so as you can see there, look, that's a nice cover. And any work you've done, as you can see there, look, it's well covered up. It's still drying out at the moment, I'm sure you can understand that. But, um, yeah, how about that, look. So any stone chips or whatever that you get on the lower part of the car, even though it'll be painted over, you won't go back to bare metal and risk rusting. rusting. The preparation will be... Uh, doing its job which is this chip guard stuff so yeah here we go let's paint this bit off as well look yeah, look, go around here get that off there as I say it's still drying at the moment but uh, I'm sure you'll appreciate that uh, what it's going to look like or the sort of protection that it gives there we go look all this is behind the um, the bumper anyway, but it's a matter of just of uh, protecting it. So just pull that off. And as you can see, it's going off already. So I might be a bit premature with uh, pulling this off, but it's nice just to have a little look anyway, isn't it? And as I say, it doesn't really matter. Clear that up in a minute. There we go. Well, as I say, I've never used it before. It does come out of the gun fast, so. But the application, obviously, I'll probably mask up a lot better than what I have done. Uh, it's only because I'm really spraying the whole car anyway, but. Um, As you can probably see, it's a nice finish. It's a good protective coating, as you can see, that, that's on there. There we go, look. As you can probably see underneath there. And all this is going to be painted, as you know, with the gold paint. So, this is stone guard or chip guard, whatever you want to call it. But as I said, this brand is Gravtex. And it's obviously a lot more substantial than what you'd get out of a spray can those stuff in the cans is very thin and that's not what body shops use that spray stuff they use a thicker uh, product like this so if you want to do what the big boys do so to speak I think it cost about 
15 pounds of tin, something like that, or a container. And obviously one container, I'll pull that off later on, one container is enough to do the whole car, obviously, as I've already done. Uh, it's a normal size saloon, as you can see. But, um, hang on. There we go, all around the front as well. Let's go around the front and have a look. And all that will be protected. Now, once it's actually resprayed gold, so there you go. So there you go. The product is Gravitex Plus Overpaintable Stone Chip Protector from u -Pole. So if you want to have a look for that, that's what you're going to be looking for. They do it in three colours, white, grey and black. I've gone for the black one, obviously. And it's overpaintable. This is a one litre container. One litre was well enough to do a car. I did spend extra for this gun, the applicator gun. This cost me, I think, 14 to 16 pounds. You can get these on eBay anyway. So there you go. Little quick video there, it didn't take long at all. So I'll see you again in the next video when we'll be rubbing down and getting ready to apply the paint. That's where we're gonna be going next. So hopefully that will be coming up shortly and we'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks very much, see you soon. Bye.